What's good, Water Tribe? What's up? Hope y'all having a good day. Just gonna do a little reading for y'all. See what's going on in y'all's energy. I'm getting the energy of sensuality, um, fertility. You may be growing something at this time. You could even be pregnant. But I'm getting like divine feminine energy. You could be um, very in your essence right now. I'm also speaking to someone who may have curly hair. Or you might wear your hair straight all the time, but it's naturally curly and you're learning how to embrace the natural you. You could also be very abundant at this time, very creative at this time. I feel like spirit is working with you on something. This could be have something to do with a business or a mentality. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or thinking about one or an air sign. I'm also seeing Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio. Give me something, Spirit, for my water tribe. I'm a water sign, by the way. It's good. I got... Okay, you say don't take this one? Okay, cool. Okay. I got creativity. Just was talking about creating. Justice. Peace. And magical powers. So off rip, I got two purple cards out here. So something about your crown, sh crown chakra. You connecting with spirit. Being very connected. Justice. You could also be going through some type of court case. Or you could be a judge. Spirit ordained you to be a judge. Like your energy, your energy signature is of judgment like if somebody come with you and fuck with you you're the type of person they ain't gonna get away with it they could have did so much bad things to other people but your spirits your angels your your god don't play about you like and everybody ain't a child of god so i don't know why i don't know why would somebody think that there has to be a polar opposite to everything there's not a possible way that everybody could be a child of god i also almost just said a child of oshun so you could be a child of oshun the child of a goddess creativity reads by all above and below let me connect let creative creativity flow so with that i just feel like i could be speaking to somebody who's in their 30 33 to significant you may be very significant you could also have some type of dramatic change when you turn 33 or th threes may be very significant you could just be seeing three 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 a lot something about taking steps by all above and all below let me connect let creativity flow so i just feel like you're uh connected with spirit very heavy at this time like I feel like spirit is working with you so that way, like, you could just be working on your communication with spirit. You could be working on being able to hear the voice of spirit more. Something about meditation. You get into a quiet pa place, and I almost said pace. So I feel like this is coming in at a at a very nice pace for you it's not coming in too fast or too slow like i spirit i feel like spirit is easing this on you because you don't understand how much power you actually hold you're a very powerful being and i'm feeling that right now like i'm feeling some type of like i'm feeling the energy of power like you is do a lot of power your aura is very very i'm getting the energy of somebody who may have a purple aura or a blue aura Something about your aura, it attracts a lot of people. Justice. By the power of three by three, my I deliver justice to me. So like I said earlier, threes may be very significant. You got the first card, 33, and then the justice card reads by the power of three by three. So something could be coming in threes. Three at a time. I'm also getting the energy of somebody that may be pregnant with triplets. So you're going to get pregnant with triplets. Five also equals change. You could be seeing five, five, five. I feel like spirit is speaking to you through synchron a lot of synchronicities at this time. By the power of three by three, my art deliver justice to me. So I feel like you may be going through some type of 
just this case. I feel like you could have a lot of worrying or anxious energy around some type of court case that you got going. I feel like spirit is telling you to let that go. Let go of it. Like, I feel like it's yours. And you know it's yours. I just feel like you you getting the energy of like a rushing energy. You could also be going through some type of child support or divorce, I'm hearing. I also just heard the scales are are about to be balanced. Who was last is about to be first and who was first is about to be last. The number six may be very significant as well. Six speaks to material abundance. So I feel like whatever case this is, you may win some type of money out of it. I also, I don't know, I just heard the lottery. Or you hit the jackpot. And then I just heard go to the casino. So you probably been thinking about going to go gamble. Or you've been on the edge about it. I feel like Spirit is telling you to go. You ain't going to regret it. Whatever this is that's about to happen with the justice system is going to bring you some type of peace. Peace reads, Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a, a light within me, peace, peace is flame. Let me read that again. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. So I feel like spirit is, is bringing peace in your life at this time. And I'm getting the energy of peace. I don't feel like it has anything to do with anybody else or another person. I feel like it got everything to do with you. And then I got, I see XL right here. So you could wear extra large shirt or pants or something like that. I'm also getting the energy of like you've been thinking about going to the gym or you could have been somebody that that used to wear a 3X or something right, like that or you done lost weight and now you want a 1X. I feel spirit is saying for you to be very proud of yourself when it comes to your weight loss or don't beat yourself up about losing weight too much. Or you probably somebody that's thank you that thank you big but you ain't. Like you look in the mirror and you feel like you might be too big or something like that but you really don't understand how good you look i also feel the energy like your energy brings peace to people your energy in itself brings peace to yourself like i'm just getting like i don't feel like you're somebody that's very conceited but you know who you are you understand your power or you're coming into some type of understanding of your power and then i see magical powers Three men or three boys may be very significant. Magical powers. I weave and clear. I cast and know. Magic secrets to me now show. So I feel like I'm picking up on a person who um is um a light worker or a light witch. A, a pure, a witch, but not a dark witch. A light witch. I'm also getting like Phoenix rising from the ashes. So I feel like you could have been a lot. You could have been through a lot of shit. But whatever this is that you've been through, it grew you. It grew you into, I'm hearing, grew you into wisdom. It brought a lot of wisdom to you. Or you bring a lot of wisdom to the table. You bring a lot of wisdom to people. Two plus four is six. So yeah, six definitely could be significant. Three six nine, three six nine, uh, three six nine. I don't know why I was was led to say that twice. So definitely, you're working with the universe on something. The universe is bringing something in for you. You guys are creating something together. I'm hearing like you co-create with the universe. There's a need for you to like one thing about it. You don't have to wait on anything. And also, too, time is time is an illusion. So you may feel like you've been waiting on something, but it's all in divine timing, I'm hearing. I feel like you're very magical at this time. There was a need for you to let go things that no longer served you. And once you did that, I feel like you then brought your attention to who? To you, to yourself. You start giving all of those extra... 
Like you start stop being so extra and giving all your attention to people that and things that no longer served you. You could e you could have even um let go of some type of addiction, mental addiction, physical addiction. Take what resonates. Letting go is also the card of six. So I feel like you probably had to let go of the mindset of materialism. You could have been somebody that was raised to be materialistic, but you realize that material things don't make you happy. I also feel like you could be somebody that hoards or you learned that about yourself. So you let a lot of shit go. You could have gave away a lot. I'm also getting the energy of starting over a fresh new start. Like you want new everything. You want a lot of new things to come in. New love, new ways of thinking. You could even start taking a new route to work or just doing something new out of the box. And I'm also hearing abundance. Like I'm getting that heavy. Letting go reads, allow the wisdom to remain, but the thing I shall never feel again exactly so th that just lets me know that whatever it is that you've been through it brought you wisdom i'm getting like phoenix phoenix this could also be your name or somebody that you know but i feel like all of this shit that you've been through it was meant to bring to show you how strong you was i feel like the worst part of a situation is over because you allowed yourself to let go. You allowed yourself to be free. You allowed yourself to, like, I'm feeling this energy, but I don't have the words to say it. This could be something that you're going through at this time. And I just heard lucrative. Something may be very lucrative for you. This could be a business that you're about to start or you started. Something about your creativity. I feel like, too, with these three cards here, there is something that you started or something that's very creative to you that's going to bring some type of justice in your life. But there was a need for you to let go of somebody or something. Whatever this is, is going to bring you and other people peace. You also may be very intuitive. I may be speaking to somebody who's a psychic. I'm hearing a shaman. And then I just heard very fucking powerful. Like, you don't understand how power you are. Power you are. Powerful you are. You may be. Um, you could even watch power. <laughs> and then I have authenticity here. So someone that's very authentic. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. So you could be somebody that's very authentic. You don't help people or do things for people just to brag about it. You kind of do it because it helps you. It helps me in your heart. It helps, you know, I'm here mending a broken heart. You may meet somebody that's very authentic. That's somebody that mirrors you. I'm also seeing that this person is going to see you in like you like this gonna be a type of person they see you in despair and they gonna try to excuse me somebody don't want me to get this out or something about speech you speaking up your lips could be very dry at this time or there's a need for you to drink water because you could be feeling very dry and side note, I got, I want to know if I'm the only one. But lately, when I drink water, y'all, it's like I could feel this pain in my chest. Like something is in the water or or it might not be water or something. Maybe I'm tripping. But i just been constantly have to pray over my water and ask spirit to like just bless it and, and nourish my body with it. Because it's like. I don't know what it is. I just feel it in my chest. I can't even explain to you what it is. And then I got good cheer. With kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. So I feel that who I'm going to speak to is definitely a witch because I'm getting witchy vibes off these off these cards. Like all of these are like affirmations, but they sound like spells at the same time. 
And the last card is healing. No, I'm going to take romance too. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all don't think I'm going to take romance. So this is speaking to what I was saying earlier. You may meet somebody that that wants to be in a romantic relationship with you because of your authenticity. I feel like they see that you're always happy. You try to make other people happy. There was a need for you to let a past person go, though, in order to bring this romance in. This romance may be very healing to, to you and for you. This could even, like, be somebody that's going to help you finish healing. Because, you know, we, I always felt like I had to be 100% healed when it came to me manifesting true love. But I realized that at the end of the day, maybe this person is supposed to be a, bar, a part of my journey to help me heal. So be open to love. And I got five, five here on the clock. Change is coming in for y'all, for real. Romance read, romance, it is sacred. It is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. So I feel like this is going to come in for you very fast. And you may not even realize it. Something about you guys' DNA signature is written to match. You guys may even share the same chakra system. And then healing reads, candle flame, burn this hour, bring to me your healing power. So I feel like this relationship is definitely going to be very healing for you guys. This person is going to be very romantic. I, I get like this person is going to be also very giving because you may be a very giving person, but you never received that in return. There was a lesson for you to learn around that. I think I'm tripping, but I think I had a dream that somebody asked for my our readings to be longer. I don't have no problem with making readings long because I like the channel, but I just feel like people don't really be watching the whole video, so it's like no point. You can see it in the analytics. And I just saw something. I don't know if that was on camera or what, but I feel like spirit is definitely very heavy. Oh, that was a notification on my phone. My bad, y'all. I got my phone on Do Not Disturb, so whoever trying to get to me need to stop. It's on Do Not Disturb for a reason. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get to business. I'm trying to focus. That may be very significant to you, to some of y'all. And if y'all notice, this is 5 and 5. This is 11 and 9. But I'm looking at these two nines here. So, something about mirroring. All right, I promise this is the last one. Grace. Grace. Blessing. Come to me. Come to me and set me free. So, I feel like this relationship is going to be very freeing. This is not going to be somebody that's always on you about what you wear. Like, I feel like this is going to be the type of relationship where you're able to be yourself and be free, but also be in a relationship. Not free to the point where you taking advantage of somebody or this person is taking advantage of you but it's not going to be restricted like this person is not going to always be breathing down your neck trying to be controlling about what you're doing where you're going where you at it's almost like you're going to be able to be free but also love on somebody at the same time it's not going to be a relationship where somebody feel like they pos like you like it's possessive energy but anyways i love y'all I feel like you could have even seen this person in a dream or dream about this love, love a while ago. But something about rebirth. And then I just got chills down one side of my body, my left side. Something about revert birth is definitely significant. But anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I hope y'all appreciated this reading. And I'll see y'all in, in my next video. Mm, bye.